All right, just moments ago, we got the word that the final cardinal has indeed arrived in Rome ahead of the papal conclave. His plane touched down just moments ago from Vietnam. They were waiting for uh, the cardinal from Vietnam, also the cardinal from Poland, to sort of round out the group. All are present now, and they are one step closer to starting this process. They have to decide when they will begin. That'll be their first decision. Amy Kellogg joins us now live in Rome. So what's the latest, Amy? What can we gather about when they'll get started? Well, Martha, no date as yet, of course, set for the conclave. We would have let you know that. We're still waiting. Unfortunately, um, the ban on those daily briefings from the American cardinals is still in place. And one journalist asked the Vatican spokesman today if it wasn't that the American cardinals were doing penance for the sins of their Italian brethren. In other words, suggesting that it was the Italians who had been leaking information to the press, not the Americans. So why did the Americans need to stop those briefings? And Father Lombardi, who is the Vatican spokesman, appeared to take umbrage at that, saying no one knows who has been leaking information to the press. It is on their conscience. Now, it has to be said the information was not particularly headline-making. There was one item about um, the cardinals asking for an information point to be set up inside the meeting so that they could learn more about the Vataleaks investigation and so that wouldn't dominate their meetings. But what was more salacious today was a story in La Repubblica, an Italian newspaper, saying that there is a deep throat inside of the Vatican reporting information about more corruption and there are 20 moles within as well, Martha. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of intrigue surrounding all of this right now. Uh, and you wonder if that encourages them to kind of, you know, conclave, to get behind the key and begin this process. Uh, you know, any suggestion in terms of the, pre the preparations in Rome or when it might start to get underway? Well, uh, there were reports that there was a mass set up on Monday for the initiation of this conclave, and that has been shot down by the Vatican. They said that's not true. There's not a special mass set for Monday. We are seeing the final shots uh, from inside the Sistine Chapel. They've put the two stoves inside for the burning of the, val of the ballots. There's one that actually is for burning ballots, another for sending up smoke. It used to be in the olden times that they would use wet straw to create the black smoke, meaning no pope has been elected and dry straw for the white smoke. Now they use chemicals. Another thing we saw today that was quite dramatic was the destruction of the old pope, Pope Benedict XVI's seal in the garden of the Vatican, making way for the new one. Martha. Fascinating. So interesting. Amy, thank you very much. We'll be watching. Ominous.